It's a new year and there's no better time to give your system a quick clean up. This guide shows you how. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can quickly and easily clean up your Windows 10 system. Now, most of these tips do apply to Windows 11 too, and I'll probably do a video on Windows 11 for all you Windows 11 users, so look out for that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive straight in. We're gonna have a look in the Downloads folder. So click on any yellow folder shown on your system, and then hopefully you should see on the left-hand side the word downloads there, or just up there, doesn't matter which one you click. If you can't see that, then just try clicking on the start button and then click on documents just there. And then hopefully you should see downloads on the left hand side. If you still can't see it, then click on view, click on navigation pane just up there and make sure there's a tick just to the left of navigation pane. If there's not like mine, click on the word navigation pane and there you go, downloads will appear. Now, obviously a lot of the stuff in the downloads folder is stuff that you've downloaded from the internet. It might be email attachments, there might be programs that you've downloaded. Now, most of these can be downloaded again. So it's a good idea to go through and have a look and see if there's really anything in there that you need Need to keep. A lot of the time you won't. And there may be hundreds, if not thousands, of files and folders in there. I mean, these here, the applications, I don't need these. I can re download them if I need them again. So all I need to do is to get rid of them. Let's just go to uh, this one here, left click on it once, and then right click on it, and then left click on delete. So again, left click once on it, then right click, then left click delete. So it's left, right, left, okay? These here PDF files, these are just email attachments. Double click on them if you wanna go into them to have a look, see what they are. If they're no good, close them down, come back here and delete them. There's a lot of, uh, of rubbish I've noticed on many people's computers that build up in the downloads folder. So get rid of those, okay? And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna close that down, click on the start button, and just type apps. There's nowhere to type, but just type the word apps on your keyboard. And then hopefully after a few seconds, apps and features should appear. Once you see that, left click once, and then you'll get a list of all the apps on this computer. Now, if there's things on here that you perhaps don't use, then click on them, and then click uninstall and that will remove them. Now, there may be things on here you're thinking, well, what, what are they? If you don't know what they are, then leave them alone. But if you know you definitely don't use them, then like I say, click on them, click on each one, okay, and then click on uninstall, and then just follow any instructions on the screen. The next thing we wanna do is click on the cross just up there to close this down, click on the start button again, and type in there, disk space clean. Then after you've typed disk clean, you should see disk cleanup comes up under best match. Move your mouse over that, left click once, and then this actually shows you here sections of files that can be deleted. Now, all you need to do is just go through this list and tick the boxes beside that are appropriate. Now, if you're not sure what it's gonna delete, click on it, and in the description, it basically tells you what it's going to delete. So, say if I click on temporary internet files, it says the temporary internet files folder contains web pages stored on your hard disk for quick viewing. Your personalized settings for web pages will be left intact. So. Really, these are just cached versions of web pages. You don't need to keep them. If you've got thousands of them on there, it's gonna clog up your computer. Windows, error reports, and feedbacks. Now, if, if you don't wanna keep those, get rid of them. They're not taking up a lot of space, to be quite honest with you. Direct X shader cache. They're clean up files created by the graphics system, which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. They will be regenerated as needed. Now, yeah, these having these on the system do speed up loading times, 
but it gets to a point where there's so many of these files on your system that it actually reduces loading time. So it's good once in a while just to have a clear out of things like that. Delivery optimization files there. These files are, are, are what previously were downloaded to your computer and can be deleted if currently unused by the delivery optimization service. Now, Windows has selected those files, 1.2 gigabytes on mine, that can be deleted because they're no longer used. Recycle bin, uh, these, this is where any files and folders that you've deleted go. You can get them back if they're still in the recycle bin, but if you know there's nothing in your recycle bin you want to keep, then put a tick in that box there. Temporary files, always a good one to remove. These are just files that have been left over when programs have uh, installed or been removed or, or done certain things. So yeah, no need to keep those. So generally I'd say it's okay to tick all these boxes. The last one here is thumbnails and that keeps a copy of all your picture, video and document thumbnails so they can be displayed quickly when you open a folder. Again, after a while you just get so much build up in there that it could end up slowing uh, the system down but generally they're only going to regenerate again so unless you've got problems with thumbnails not appearing then I'd say leave that one unticked. So click on OK and it says here are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yes I do so click delete files and then what it does is it goes through and it cleans up the system files on your computer. Now we're gonna go a step further in a moment. Okay, so this is gonna take a little while. So what I'll do is I'll pause this video and we're gonna come back to it in a few moments once this has finished. And there we go, it's now finished. The box has disappeared. So let's click on the start button again and then I'm gonna type clean up again and disk cleanup comes up there. So left click once on that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to clean up system files. Okay. Now now this is going to go a little bit deeper into the system and show us some of the other files that we can remove to try and clear up a bit of space. Now I've clicked on that, the box has disappeared, don't worry, that will disappear for quite a while so just leave the computer for a few minutes and hopefully that box will appear with some tick boxes inside it for us. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it as soon as that box has reappeared. Oh, here we go. So it now says disk cleanup is calculating how much space you'll be able to free on C. That's the main drive. This may take a few minutes to complete. So it's just scanning the different parts of the system just to see what rubbish there is still left over. So, OK, so we've got here Windows Update Cleanup. So this is Windows keeps copies of all installed updates from Windows Updates, even after installing newer versions of updates. Windows Update Cleanup deletes or compresses older versions of, of updates that are no longer needed and taking up space. You might need to restart your computer after uh, cleaning those. So, yeah, let's get rid of those. Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So if we click on that, it says non-critical files used by Microsoft Defender Antivirus. That's the antivirus that comes with most Windows 10 systems. So let's click on that. Downloaded program files are, these are ActiveX and Java applets downloaded automatically from the internet when you view certain pages. They're temporarily stored in the downloaded program files on your hard drive. So if you use ActiveX and Java, then I'd, I'd leave that unticked, but in actual fact, there's nothing there to be cleaned out. Temporary internet files, again, we just clean those out. So as you can see, there is naught by there. Windows error reports and feedback. So these are more sort of diagnostics files generated from Windows errors and user feedback. These generally will go to Microsoft to help identify and fix any problems, but they're not generally needed for the user. So I'm going to put a tick in there and let's just go down. DirectX shader cache, we've done that earlier. Delivery optimization files, we've done that earlier, so there's nothing there. Device driver packages there. So it says Windows keeps copies of all previously installed device driver packages from Windows updates and other sources, even after installing newer versions 
versions of drivers. The ta this task will remove older versions of drivers that are no longer needed. The most current version of each driver package will be kept. So say if you've downloaded uh, printer or mouse or sound drivers on your computer and you've updated them, it's kept a copy of the old drivers so that you can roll back to them. Now, if you're happy that your system's working perfectly, then put a tick in there. But I mean, in this case, it's showing no bytes in there. Language resource files, so it says removed unused language resource files, including keyboards, speech inputs, etc. So that again is okay to put a tick there. Recycle bin we've done earlier. Temporary files, there's some more temporary files there. So it says apps can store temporary information in specific folders. These can be cleaned up manually if the app does not do it automatically. So yes, I'm gonna put a tick in there. Temporary Windows installation files, installation files used by Windows setup. These files are left over from installation process and can be safely deleted. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna put a tick in that box there. Thumbnails, again, unless you've got problems with thumbnails, I'd leave that unticked. Okay, so I'm gonna move my mouse over the okay button, left click once, and again, it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yes, I do, so move your mouse over delete files, left click once. Okay, and it's now going through, and it's now deleting the excess files, and this is gonna free up a little bit of space on our computer. Hopefully enough space to sort of get you out of trouble and give your system a good clean up. After this has run, then hopefully you should find that your system will run a little bit quicker and you'll have a little bit more space to put more rubbish on your computer once again. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Please be aware this disc cleanup will hang around for a while. Just leave it. Once it's finished, the box will disappear. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.